This is a brief introduction to the Ericsson W35 mobile broadband router, sometimes called a, a Rogers Rocket Hub or a Bell Turbo Hub. Now the unit itself, it was designed as a landline replacement, so it supports voice as well as internet. Uh, has a 7.2 meg download and a 2 meg upload, so it is quite a fast router. It's similar to your wireless router you'd have at home. The main difference is the unit supports mobile broadband, so you've got a SIM card port, and also supports a voice. Now it's got an internal antenna, so you've got your internal antenna for your mobile, and an internal antenna for your Wi-Fi. On the side you've got an external antenna port, uh, it's an MCX port, and that's for connecting external antennas, and we offer a range of patch leads to suit that. On the front of the unit here, You've got your standby button, and that shuts down the internet component, so it uh, turns it into a voice-only unit. Up here you've got your, your indicators, you've got your uh, voicemail indicator, which means you've got a voicemail waiting for you. You've got your alarm light. The alarm light means you've usually got a SIM problem, so your SIM card's in incorrectly, or you've got a pin code on, on the SIM. You've got your Wi-Fi active, your internet active, and voice call active lights. Up here you've got your signal strength indicator. So you can see here we've got a 1 out of a possible 4 bars. We've got 3G active and 3G plus, which means you're connected to a high speed broadband network, uh, which is HSDPA. On the side of the unit, you got your SIM card slot, you've got your USB port, and the USB port's for connecting uh, shared resources on the network. It can either be a, a printer, or an external hard drive or a USB stick. You've got your on the back you've got your four port router, so you've got four Ethernet ports, you've got your power port, you've got your phone fax port, and your telephone port. The telephone port you can connect a standard landline telephone and you pick up the handset, you get a dial tone, like you do on a normal landline, and the call quality is pretty much the same as well. You've also got a reset button. And that resets it back to a uh, factory default. Now that concludes the introduction to the Ericsson W35.